Greetings fellow drivers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Pacific Drive. Episode 24, The Highest Cost. So this zone has a, a pretty decent amount of corrupted energy as you can see up top. The zone that we're heading in, the stabilizer, sucks. So I should try to get as much um, as much science and resources from this zone as possible because the next one is uh, less friendly. You're not the first to try crossing the old walls if the anomaly has moved in. But we'll make sure you're the first to survive. Two things to keep in mind. First, to get through the old wall, there are five crossing points. You need to induce the electrical grid the entire way by driving the car close enough and fast enough along the conductors. You'll see them as you go. Once you jumpstart the grid, Tobias will route the mid-zone power your way, but no induction, no power, no power, no crossing. Second, watch your battery gauge. You will live or die by that thing. Got it? Good. Start by connecting the power grid at the first crossing point. The controls will be up in the observation tower. So I'm not beelining to go do the crossing points because I want to get as much anchor energy as I can. So that was a uh, that was an, a first introduction of a new anomaly, Devil Grinder. Uh, if you think a spike puddle's nasty, Devil Grinder's worse. Fashion can opener here. Where is the uh, where's the anchor? It should be maybe it's on the bridge above us. there was a like a wall here all right off-roading oh my lord traction sliding I need to get so I need to get through this wall thing that's in front of me I could go up and around I'm just a little stuck so yeah let's go I'll double back and go up and around that way Nitro for the win. And this is my first corruption anchor. Bit of a milestone. Getting access to all uh, three energy types. That's what I'm after. Food. So let's grab and go. Oh god. Alright, so here is a, uh, a Taurus Trap. So we got Double Grinder, Taurus Trap. So we've identified two of the new ones. Um, so if we take a look at the route map, there is another explosive and then three resources that we have not yet identified. Oh, there's Taurus Traps everywhere. Nice. And they're really creepy looking, aren't they? Now, TLDR, don't hit them with your car. That pretty much can be said of all anomalies, though. So this is, uh, new. Lights. The windy storm should help top up the batteries, though. Oh, great. It's like in a double grinder. 
Um, ow. So this is a limb magnetizer. Uh, so essentially you stick it in scrap metal and then you get out limb magnets. So let's go ahead and grab... I don't have a lot of scrap metal on me. But I'll grab whatever scrap metal I do have and stick it in the magnetizer. And out comes lip magnets, which is a new resource. So there, we got five of them. And here's yet another anomaly, a tour bus. Big go boom. Oh, thanks for my flare back. Oh, I saw you move. Yeet! I'm trying to hit the second tour bus. Got it. Huh, that one even gave me a sap crystal. So generous. Tanks up and keep moving. You can probably see that the uh, just the physical density of the um, anomalies in this on, on the harder zones are they're everywhere. They're everywhere. It's what really makes it dangerous. So you're constantly running into them. So you have to be a lot more careful about where you drive. These gates are part of the main mission, um, but I'm just trying to get all of the anchor energy so I can get the upgrades that I want. And without spoiling too much, it's much harder to get the anchor energy when you're doing the main mission. Okay, let's not hit a can opener. Which is why I'm just sort of doing it now. terrain is near impassable from anomalies. Oh, here's another resource. Nice. It's a beach ball. And beach balls give me red balloons. And also sometimes like just random stuff popping out of it. So there's a... Uh, there's the unstable energy I want. Oh, hello. It seems to be pretty well guarded by, uh, by horrible horribleness. Oh, oh, lord. Driving out of there seems kind of ill-advised. There is an achievement, if you're wondering, to kick tourists, but I'm not going to do that right now. Plus, I already have it. I was sort of expecting this whole area to erupt in hateful anomalies, but it kind of didn't. Which is nice. Uh, this is another limb magnet, I think. I don't have enough scrap metal for it. There was definitely a case to be made to say that... Like, I could grab my, my plasma scrapper and just start scrapping things for scrap metal, but I have some scrap metal back in at home. That there's something to be said for if you want limb magnets, just, um, dry- oh, shoot, Jesus. Uh, just leave the ba your base with a bunch of scrap metal ready to go. 
so that you can convert it over to limb magnets if uh, you need limb magnets as a crafting material. I am not sure how I'm going to get to the next anchor. Also, these tourists are like closing in on me. They're trying to like make the terrain impassable. So I think what I'll do at this point is turn back and start to do the main crossing lines. Because um, I think it will open up paths for me. And if not, oh well. I already have some um, corrupted anchor energy. So it's already been pretty productive. Oh, I think this is another anomaly up ahead. This looks like a blacksmith. No, 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 it's just a, uh... It's just a double grinder with a sodium light. It tricked me! Feels okay. Car's condition is really good, except for my headlights, which is, you know, whatever. Pathfinding over to where I need to go is uh, a little perilous. A little difficult. Um, so that's a gate, so let's just off-road it. This is probably not the right way to do it, but whatever. I got off-road tires. We're built for this madness. Oh! Almost hit that tourist. I will say, uh, you, you do tend to get a bunch of dumpster pearls out of the red balloons. Not a bunch, but like, a pretty decent chance. Oh, that's a big one. I also got a, um, a scrapper. So what is this? Uh, 23 piercing damage per second versus my 38, so it's worse. And it's durability as hell, so I'm just gonna drop it. It, uh, attached itself to the car. Cool. Seems reasonable, right? Alright, I think I'm gonna start to hustle. Uh, because I'm running out of, uh, stream time. And I want to end on a bit of a conclusion without going too far over time. Because, you know, family and stuff waiting for me. So, let's get a move on. So if you're wondering why I'm not stopping for things, it's so that, uh, I can make actual progress. Hit a tourist. I'm trying to figure out how to get around this pipe. I could probably cheese it and try to teleport to the other side. That's likely not the way they intend for me to do. I'll do this hill. This is why I like nitro. Oh, oh, grinder. There we go. Just ease it over. Okay, we are on the correct path now.
Because there's so many red balloons here, I'll just stop. Oh, I got explosives from that one. So that was the first explosive that I've gotten. Um, normally you find... Well, you find explosives often in this biome, but like... They're... They're hard to come by. I won't spoil why until I find one myself. Another dumpster pearl. And a mini turbine. Um, alright. We'll take a look at it, compare with the turbines I have. Oh, uh, this is an explosives crate. So you find them in explosive crates, but these explosive crates often themselves explode. So what makes this, uh... What makes this turbine special? I think it's the same kilowattage. It has maybe 10 more HP. Yeah, I'll keep it. So flip the switch on the tower to turn on circuit one. Uh, before I do that, I want to refuel all the way, because this is a bit of a, um, uh, you know, like the old racing games with like checkpoints. It's a bit like that, where there's checkpoints and all. So it's one of those, you shouldn't dally. Uh, I also want to install the limb shield instead of the limb pulse emitter. I think the game tells me to do that at some point, but I'll just do that now, knowing that that's going to be required. And to wire it up as the new F. Oh, no, uh, that's... I had the limb shield, didn't I? I, I switched them back. This is the limb pulse emitter. Oops, I did that wrong. So I was already using a limb shield. I don't recall installing it though. That's really weird. And maybe doing some um, some touch-up uh, repairs so that uh, the car is not going to fall apart on me. So there's a lot of mostly like the headlights are pretty broken. Oh, that one's fragile too. Looking good enough. There are old so. shuttle stops at each crossing point. Use them to recharge your battery and hope they're still in working condition after all these years. So we're using the car as like a gate to connect points, uh, the points together to carry a charge throughout the deep zone would be the like simple explanation. And I have my limb shield on to protect me from all the everything outside. So you can see how there's like not really time to stop and smell the roses or collect corrupted energy or any of that stuff. Just got to keep hitting the uh, checkpoints. Or you have to, you know, stop, turn around and do it over again. But once you hit these checkpoint markers, uh, your progress is Tobias, saved. Tobias, power routing. Well, the neighbors are complaining about the flickering lights, but I told them to light some candles and sit tight. Francis, levels are good, holding steady. <laughs> Circuit 
circuit complete. Keep it up, driver. So that circuit is done. Nice. The worry I have is the uh, the fuel that I have. Uh, I might have to dip into my big um, uh, spare tank, but I'm going to keep going. I don't believe that limb shields for front and back stack. There's not like a additive effect, as far as I'm aware. They're spent. How long to recharge? Could take up to a day. No, oh, I got, I got this. One collision with a thousand avoided. Uh, I feel like I'm doing an okay job. The road's a little bit of a mess, as you may have noticed. Give us a signal, Tobias. Tobias, stay with us. I got you, Arby. Friends. <laughs> well, what do you know? One time, I find myself out of things to say. Arby. Take care of him for me. Tobias! Oh, Thanks. I love you forever. I love you forever. Power's back online. Francis, now! Tobias, 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 answer. 
We also managed to scan everything. And a little reminder, this next zone kind of sucks. It's super, super bad storm, so I'm not gonna stick around there very long. But yeah, you can probably see why I got the corrupted anchor energy that I could when I did, because there really wasn't an opportunity to do it post uh, mission. And that's that's a that is typically true. We are in the deep zone. And we're here to try to stabilize it so that we can return. Uh, this is a very similar mission loop from before. That entire area got scrambled in instability. I'm afraid, Tobias. I told you. I, I, I told you, didn't I? We weren't ready. We should have planned it better. We, we, we should have known. We did the best we could. No, do not give me that. If we had, he, he'd be here with us. I'm sorry, but we've got to help the driver. Don't you dare. What? Wait, is this how you dealt with Alan's death? You just you put your head down and, and, and let work fill the gaps? think he was wrong then I can't live with that regret I gave everything for them this is the last thing I'm holding on to for myself every single day I still think about how if I had left this only we had planned to I wouldn't have lost Alan I thought I hoped that Lim Tech was done killing our own I'm sorry about Tobias Tobias is was all I had. I uh, <coughs> I need to sign off for a while. We'll be here when you're ready. Glad you got through, driver. Power on that stabilizer, and I'll see you back at the garage. All right, that's all I have left to do. Turn on the stabilizer and go home. I do want to get the corrupted energy first. That's where I'm headed.
explosive barrel over there. Not a ton of uh, strategic resources in this zone. This is what I'm after. I'm an energy junkie. What can I say? Whether it's caffeine or... Oh, man, I'm stuck. Corrupted energy. I'll chase it. The next one is just over here. Yep, I can see it. Surprisingly, they're just, oh, uh, well, no, those are tour buses. Or tourist traps. I was gonna say, they've only been throwing bollards at me, but they're actually very explosive bollards, so I take it back. A jumping jack. Oh, um, that's good to know. My uh, auto parker brake is broken. Personally, I hate the jumping jack um, um, mod because uh, I mostly all it does is damage your car. Here we are at the stabilizer. You know, I should leave the car running, because uh, when you turn on the stabilizer, hell breaks loose. So we need to be ready for some hell. Dagonite, I'm glad you like this series. Here we go. Time to run. This stone had, uh, this zone had very low... Oh, almost landed it. Oh, I uh, sort of landed it. My headlights would disagree. My front bumper is a little upset. Yeah, this zone had a... Its storm timer was bad. So... How do I get there? What the hell? There is so much debris in the way. We made it! And right on time, too. I have like one minute left in the stream. <laughs> oh, man. As, as if I had planned it that way. Welcome back. Now we know where the well is. But you're the first to step foot in the deep zone in over 15 years. And I need more time to understand Alan's suppression method. So why don't you stretch your legs and chart the deep zone while you're at it? We'll need to map away to the well as it is. Right, let's do a little uh, vehicle maintenance because this car got beat to hell on that trip. That was not an easy trip. Not for me and less so for Francis. And Tobias, for that matter. Uh. We did bring back Corrupted Energy, allowing us access to... 
uh, sort of the final uh, research types. Shredding the dumpsters. Man, this dumpster pearl's huge. Electronics. Nice. Oh, man, that's a lot of electronics. And copper wire, light bulbs. That was a good one. So the old limb impulse emitter, I'm going to shred because I like the limb shield more, personally. Uh, yeah, let's put a, a peculiar turbine on in lieu of whatever's the most damaged. Why not? I'm in a bit of a mystery part, sure. It's probably going to give me a quirk or something. Like, oh, you wanted a mystery part? All right. Here you go. Four free corks for you. Definitely run out of space for, um... So we did just paint shark. So I'll, I'll melt the old shark down. We'll run out of space for, uh... For paint decals. But all in all, I think a pretty solid run. Didn't get smashed to bits heading into the hardest biome. So, like, you know, there's that, I suppose. The car got beat to hell. And I lost a headlight. Oh, wow. This headlight has, like, I don't even know how much percent left, but not much. Uh, Auto Parker got destroyed. Or worn out, I should say. Not technically destroyed. So we need another headlight. And an auto parker. I don't really know if there's much penalty for having, like, a um, internal auto parker that is almost broken. I guess it could fully break and it would stop functioning, but, like, they're probably, once it's fragile, it's pro it's it's not likely to be too much of an issue, I suspect. And I'll slack everything that is all beat up. Prepare it enough that uh, my driver's track checklist leaves me alone. But yeah, the deeper you go, uh, definitely the more prepared you have to be for the chaos that will ensue. Because it, it's not easy to be in the deep zone. And obviously some of the best strategic resources can only be found in it, so... It pushes you... Uh, to go for... Difficulty. Wow, that is a treasure hoard there. Well, I don't have to pick it up manually. That would take me forever. I personally don't really like to use the transfer trunk. I don't find that it, like, saves me a lot of trips. 
Wait, I got a large fuel can off of that? Uh, really? Yes, I got a uh, extra fuel can. I'm gonna shred it. I don't need it. I don't think I've ever found like a fuel can in um from a dumpster pearl. None of these are new paint colors, so I'll probably just shred them too. I do have a mystery machine sticker though. That's cool. Um, put that away or out. Uh, Weird wagon, you know, for, for copyright purposes, I suppose. Yeah, the peculiar dumpster pearls can spawn every, anything. I'm just saying, I personally have not ever seen it spawn a fuel can. Not to say that it is impossible. Just in my Whatever my playtime is, I'd never seen that myself. Okay, so we're all cleaned up, all tidied up. Charge the battery. Put away the remaining stuff. And of course, there's um, research and, and um, friendly dumpster to do. But this is, uh, this is where I'm, well, I'll leave off after. Okay, so there is a quirk. And I'll leave a message to myself if I ever continue this is, um, Research, Quirk, and Dumpster. And that, my friends, is where this stream is going to end. Thank you for tuning in to Pacific Drive, which originally streamed live on Twitch April 9th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. And if you would like to join my online gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow breachers. <laughs>